So I wouldn't normally ad advocate cyber terrorism, hacking attempts, nukes or anything like that. So if you want to hack that IP address, I didn't say it. But I just thought I'd leave it up there just for interest's sake. And I'll show you something quite interesting. I had an email conversation, quite a lengthy one, with someone who purported to have seen one of my videos online. And I guess they kind of took offence to it or something because I had a really quite lengthy um, email conversation with that, with that person. And um, what I found quite interesting down here, they said, Dear Mr Trigger, I'd like... I like your persuasion course, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, that was about the persuasion course that I did some about a week or so ago. Um, and they basically offered me some consulting work in, in Madrid, which is not unheard of. You know, I have had other things um, uh, in various different countries previously. So what I thought I'd do, I, I normally do a bit of background check, checks anyway, but obviously I've had quite a lengthy conversation with this person. So I thought I'd do some background checks and um, I had a look at their email address, which previously I, I just didn't even um, pay any attention to. So there's the email address. I will, um, it's, it's repeated several times. Hopefully it's at a screen resolution that you can see in case you want to uh, email them yourself. You know, uh, for goodness sake, please do not sign them up for any porn or other uh, rubbishy emails that you can get your hands on, um, you know, because I wouldn't like to say that the more the merrier. That would be really dishonest. So if you have a look down here, if you right click and then go to message options, then you can actually come up with the email address. So there's, where is it? The originating IP. Oh, shock, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So all you have to do then, and it's really not very difficult at all. I don't know how stupid this person thinks I am. But all you have to do then is enter it into a website like ip2location.com. It's completely free and you can actually work out that it's from the UK. Look at that. Talk, talk, dynamic range. Now I also know that this person is using Tiskily, uh, Tiskily Broadband. I've done this on several different websites. Each one tells you something slightly different. So you can work out exactly who this person is, where they're coming from. And then, um, you know, I'm going to contact their ISP and get them to shut it down. So... Um, if you are watching right now, serves you bloody right. Um, the gentleman of business is thoroughly pissed off. So I'm sorry about my language, but I am really annoyed about this, and I hope that other people will um, will use this sort of thing to shut this person down. Um, I'm not talking about cyber terrorism. I'm just talking about reporting them to the authorities. Thanks very much for watching.